Hello and welcome to Ice and Fire Season 2, Episode 5. And in this episode, well, first off, let me do a little bit of a recap. So, in the last episode, we made uh, the basement down here filled with a bunch of cool furnaces. Let me show you. We made these, basically, and this is still running. And now, something else has also happened. We did a stream the other day, not too long ago, about a week ago from when you see this episode. Uh, if everything goes according to my plan. <laughs> uh, it is up, so you can watch it. It, is, it should be in the playlist. I'll double check. But you can watch that stream as well. We basically did a bunch of mining and we also did a bunch of exploring as well. So that is really cool. I recommend you check it out. And today we will be continuing the theme of immersive engineering because we will be making... We will be making a windmill. Yes, we will be making a windmill right here where I'm standing actually. Now, I just want to say we did find dragons in the stream, so definitely go and check it out, as I said. Um, and don't worry, we will be doing stuff with Ice of Fire hopefully very soon. If you look here uh, in my chest over this one, yes, as you can see, we actually killed a sea serpent. And if I get one more, I can actually, as someone uh, said in the stream chat, I can actually make a trident, and I think that is going to be one of my very soon goals, because I really want that, and that would be super cool to have. Um, so that is probably going to happen very, very soon. So, yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. I'm excited. But today we will be doing immersive engineering stuff, and we will be putting up a windmill so we can get power and make more machines and do more cool stuff. Um... So, over here, I have done some research, and I have prepared basically what we need to do, and there's going to be a lot of crafting, but I'm going to include it, uh, because, yeah, let me know how you, how you feel about that down below. Um, but anyways, this is the stuff that we need to, to use here. We need the windmill, of course, and then we need to connect the windmill to a connected dynamo and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to explain it as we go. I'm not going to make a huge uh, talk session about it. Um, how do I make these again? Oh, yes, perfect. Um... This is not going to be the prettiest, I'm going to say that right now. Um, but it is going to be good enough to begin with. So one, two, three. And then this block right here, ow. This block right here, the kinetic dynamo, this is the recipe, is what the windmill will be attached to. So that block will need to be on the top of that. Now I just want to add a little bit of support like that just so it looks a little bit better and blends in and could, could you could you pick that up please no okay fine i have more <laughs> uh i do want to make this place a lot prettier and i do intend to keep developing on this pyramid um along the series i think this is a really cool place and i think it would be really cool if we could make a huge area around it just green like that i think that would be a very cool project to have now, I do just want to also do that. Yeah, so it has, so it looks like it has a little bit of support, I guess. Um, actually, I might put it... Ooh, uh, hmm, I just thought of something. My thought will need to make me... Will, will need to... I can't speak. This is going to make me break some of these. And by the way, if you do hear some construction sounds in the background, I am so sorry, but there's not much I can do about it. it, it it's in another place. Not my place. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. There we go. It is going to make a little bit more sense once we get the kinetic dynamo down here. But first, we need to do a bunch of crafting. So, this is why we made in the last episode the furnaces and stuff that we did. Because what we need to make is basically, we need to make this. Windmill blade, and that requires treated wood. And the way we get treated wood is with creosote oil. So I'm going to go ahead and slap a crafting table down. I'm going to put this water bucket out. I do have some wood, so I'm going to take the creosote oil like so. Wait a minute, don't I already have a bucket up here somewhere? I'm pretty sure I had a bucket. No, wait, I used it. That's right, I used it. So, I made this in the last episode. I'm um, gonna need some more wood. Oh dear, I don't have that much wood. Huh. Looks like I gotta go uh, chop some more trees then. Right, so the way we make treated wood is we put the creosote oil in here, and then we put that in there, and then we have treated wood planks, just like so. And by the way, these herb fibers are from a plant upstairs. I don't want to go up right now, but I will show you 
a little bit later on. So we need basically eight of these. So that means we need three times eight, three, 16, 24. Uh, so that is at least 24 uh, treated planks. So like so, so that is 24. Then we need four sticks and these also give four sticks. Yes, they do. So we need four sticks per each. So that is four times eight, eight, 16, 32. Oh dear, am I even gonna have enough wood for this? No, I'm not. I guess I'm gonna hope that this uh, pink tree wood thing actually works. Let's find out. I'm gonna add these six and then that. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful, 32. So now we should be able to make eight. Perfect. And just to double check, as you can see, eight and I ain't get, that gives us the windmill. Just like so, windmill blade, and then I need my iron. I will have eventually my resources like my iron, basically everything that is in this chest. I'll just start moving down there, probably for the next episode, because I will be needing all of this down there eventually. Um, so now we will be making this, the windmill. Cool. But that that itself is going to generate us power. But what we can add to it is tough fabric per blade. So we put it up and then we right click it with the tough fabric and that will basically make it produce more power. And for that, we need tough fabric and we need industrial herb fiber. And the fiber is from these plants right here, which by the way, um, you don't have to harvest them, breaking them there, you can harvest them at the top. This could have saved me so much bone meal, but it's very easy to just go ahead and just have this when they're like that and then they just grow up again. So that is very cool. We will also eventually make it so that this creosote oil goes out and then goes into a tank. I'm pretty sure that is doable. Not 100% sure, but I think it might be doable. Um, now I wonder, is this doable? No. That, that, that would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been nice. Uh, so we need eight of these. So eight sticks, one, two, there we go, eight. And then we surround this. And now we have eight tough fabric that we can put on the windmill. So that is the windmill done, the windmill blade and the tough fabric done. All right, so far so good. Well, we take a quick crafting break. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet enabled those notifications. And also if you haven't done so yet, be sure to join my Discord server, link down below in the description. And also if you want access to this Eyes of Fire mod pack, you can support me on Patreon, link down below as well. With only $1 a month, you can get access to the Ice of Fire pack and it supports me in a great, great way. Now with that said and the break over, let's continue crafting. <laughs> so we need the Kinetic Dynamo. Um, oh, wait, hold up. Okay, so we need, wait, could I just have used double sticks for this? I don't even wanna know. I, okay, fine, I'll, uh, okay, I'll, mm, I most likely could have. I most likely could have just used double sticks. Yep, I could have used double sticks. Okay, that's fine. Um, we need the kinetic diamond. Oh, for that, we need these. Copper wire. Copper plate. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, we need to craft some stuff. Right, I'm going to take some copper, because obviously we'll need that. I'm going to take some iron to have it. So we need... What did we make? We needed... Apparently, we need cutters. So I'm going to make those together with the hammer. Nice, we have a tool set now. And for that, we need plate, and we make the plate by putting the engineer's hammer in here, like so. Okay, so how many did we need? We needed eight. Now, how many are we gonna get from this? One? Only one? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna need a lot more copper. Wait, that's bronze. Do we even have enough? I mean, I think, do I have ore? I do have copper ore. Uh, from the stream when we were down mining. But oh my, that's... Hmm. That's a bit worrying, to be fair. Okay, we do get a lot per operation, so that's good. Okay, copper coil. And then... Redstone. Wait. Hold up. <gasps> I don't have redstone. I, don't, I actually don't have redstone. That's... I need redstone for this. Oh my, um, I guess I have to go mining? Eh, that was a bit unexpected. 
Right, guys. I'm gonna have to uh, go mining, apparently. And then... Uh, okay, well, in that case, uh, we can actually set a little bit of a process to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. We can set one of the furnaces to work, basically, because... What I would like is... Do I have more silver than this? Uh, it would appear not. No, okay, I'm gonna decrease that a little bit then. Because I want to make the, instead of the LV capacitor, capacitor, which is basically what holds the power, we can make an MV capacitor, which is basically bigger in capac capacity. <laughs> For that, I want to make electrum ingots. Um, and to make the electrum ingots, we need to use this furnace right here. And I assume that just takes coal. I assume that just takes coal. Maybe I can use coal coke? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try with normal coal first. All right, so it seems like it's operating like a normal furnace. So this should make electrum so I can make the MV capacitor. And yes, perfect. So I will not be able to make the wire connectors that we need because they take electrum as well. Um, let alone the MV wire coil, because that, that's expensive now. Um, but at least we will be able to store more power at a time. But I think I still will make this just because, um, yeah. And now someone's drilling. All right, I'm gonna go get some redstone and I'll be back with you guys. <laughs> this was unexpected. All right, so I'm just down here in my mine and I found the redstone. Uh, also found clay, which is excellent because we actually need to make terracotta. So that is perfect. Also found some other stuff, and I found two interesting things. One, this drop when I broke, I think it was just a normal stone, but I'm not sure. Breaking open at a workbench may yield valuable minerals. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe we need a hammer or something. I think there's only the immersive engineering hammer. Uh, I guess we'll have to try and see what happens. But then I found something else, uh, people and the drills. I do apologize, I'll make the, this quick, but I also found uranium. That was a weird sound. And I can pick it up. Okay, I was expected to get poisoned or something. What is that? No, what is that? No, 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 nah, -uh. I'm out. I'm out. And no, I'm not. Nope. I'll get back to that. Nope. Nope, I'm not. Mm -mm. Not happening. Not happening. Not now. Not today. If anyone know what that is, please tell me down below in the comments, but I'm not about to find out. Nope, that was terrifying. Nah, -uh. nope, nope, nope. Nope. Anyway, it would appear that we can make uranium grit and a uranium ingot, which... Block of uranium. Uh, I don't know if it will have an actual use in immersive engineering yet. I don't know, but um, we got uranium. You yeah, <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, we got uranium, so that's that's cool, I guess. Now I'm just gonna make these into clay and then I'm gonna, can they go in here? Nope. Put them in the furnace, turn them into terracotta because we need them to make this stuff. And it would seem that I'm running out of copper. Well, I do have some. I do actually have a bit, so that that's good. Breaking open at a workbench may yield valuable minerals. Maybe the engineer's workbench? This workbench, which I can't craft. This workbench. Ah, uh, gonna right click it. No, maybe I need the hammer. I don't know what mod this is from. This isn't working either. Huh? Can't right click it. That's weird and interesting. Hopefully, nothing that thing that was down there hopefully it's not 
it and gonna try and kill me now. Because that was just creepy. Ugh. Anyway, let us now continue, shall we? So, uh, yes. So we made the windmill. We made these. These are my trusty tools. And this is where we, okay, good. So we were making the kinetic dynamo. We were making this. Um, we already made that. Perfect. So now we can make the kinetic dynamo, which is basically what the windmill will be set on. So that is that. Now what we need to make are these, the LV wire connector and then the LV capacitor. So copper, lead, and treated wood. We have everything except for the lead in my inventory. All right, so we're almost done. We have the windmill, we have the tough fabric, we have the kinetic dynamo. Now we just need two pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> we need the, uh, yeah, we're gonna make the MV compa uh, capacitator, cap bleh, capacitor. I think, I'm not sure. I think I want to make one of each. So we need to do that. And then we need to make the wire relays. Um, the relay is copper, also copper. And then here, yes, we can wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so now we need to make the LV capacitor right here, which we can lead, iron, copper, treated wood, redstone. This is basically where energy will be stored. Now I also want to make this one. Uh, for that, I need to make a redstone block. And then I need the electrum that we put down here. Boom, perfect. And now we should be able to just do that and boom. The cool thing about these is they could get filled up and I'm pretty sure we could break it with a pickaxe and the power within them are still stored so we can put it somewhere else. I think my plan is going to redirect power through the roof. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think we'll only use one of these for right now. Uh, but I want to organize my power distribution later down the road. And now what we need is this. I don't know how much of this we need. I know we need to connect us and I'm also gonna make some relays. I don't think we need them, but we have them. And then we have the wire coil as well. And can we make these? No, we do not have enough electrum and I only have so much silver. I don't even think I have any silver ore right now. So yeah, that's gonna be that. Let's set this up, shall we? I think we are ready uh, to set everything up. So let's head outside. It's going to be right there. I should check for creepers first. It should be placed right up there. So what we're gonna do first is get up there and then take the kinetic dynamo. I'm gonna place a block right there. Place the kinetic dynamo right there. Break that and I might be able to do this from the side. We're gonna place the windmill like so. Windmill for the land. And it's actually already, well, working. Now what we gotta do, and I think I'm gonna do it right here. I'm going to place the MV capacitor. And this blue right here is basically, it tells us, hey, this this spot right here, that's power in. And yeah, I, I, I saw you, you were, you were gonna be an issue, aren't you? Please be gone, thank you. So that blue right there tells us that is in. Now we can take the engineer's hammer and we can right click on a side and say, hey, this is also in, or the orange, this is out, or just blank. So that is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it like so, oh dear, black spike. And then we need the LV, uh, LV wire connector. And I'm gonna place one right there. And then over here, and then we're gonna take the LV wire coil and right click on this. And as you can see, it says linking from the coordinates and then right click right here. And as you can see, we now have a wire and we should, this thing should be generating out. Oh yeah, yeah. Another thing you can you can see by, touch the wire and you get the uh, electrocuted. <laughs> now, I don't have a way of actually telling the um, energy level of this thing. Uh, huh. There's this voltmeter which we can actually make. So I'm gonna go make that really quickly so we can actually see how much power is in the thing. All right, engineers, voltmeter, right like so. And as you can see, 
it is right there. We could put the output down at the bottom and then draw power out from that specific spot right there to the rest of the base. We can now right click this thing. And as you can see, it has 15,000 flux stored out of 1 million. This thing can hold 1 million. So that is really cool. And as you can see, we're getting like around 200 ish per what second. Now that's not good enough. We can improve it using tough fabric. And I'm going to try and get up here without touching this stuff. And now what we need to do is take this and just right click. Um, uh, I, for I forget how to do this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was just right clicking. Maybe we have to be in front of it. Uh, I forget how to do this now. Maybe we have to be in front of it. Uh, am I missing something? No. I'm confused. Oh, right. So we need this right here, the windmill sail. Right. And then we right click it with that, I'm pretty sure. My bad. So if we go up here and right click it, as you can see, that just added to that. Okay, I need a lot more of this tough fabric, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because I have a lot of it, or rather I can make a lot of it. Question is, can I make enough? Can I make enough though? That is the question. So we go here I can make 12. Uh, I can make two more. Yeah, I don't have I don't have enough industrial uh, fiber. So that's a bit unfortunate, but I do have two so we can add these two and I'll add the rest of the camera. Unless I have enough bone meal, I'm out, I might. Either way, we can add two more, boom, boom. And I think we can actually see it go faster as well. And if we look over here, it is now giving us more than before, which is cool. So I wanna add that to all of those, but now we're basically making power, but it looks pretty dumb like that. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, finish this before we end this episode. All right, I've used all the bone meal I could. I think we will just add one more so it actually looks pretty. And uh, then I think we will just have to call it there because I just don't have enough of anything to make all of it. Yeah, one will have to do. I will have to assume that it adds it in a pattern because it has taken so far uh, like one there, empty one, empty one. So I'm hoping Yes, it actually looks decent, beautiful. And we're generating power. This is so cool. I love doing this stuff. I love it. And it's already at 100,000 and that will soon be at 1 million flux, which we can then feed into our machines that we will make in the future, which there are some of them that we really need um, before any of the others. And I guess I'll make it more pretty eventually in the future. And yeah, that's our windmill. Now just as a, I guess, a, to, to show you how this actually works is again down here, set that to orange. So that's output now. I can put a wire connector and I think I can put this here. I think they will be able to reach each other. Put that there and I should be able to connect these two. And as you can see, we are now feeding this with power as well. So we can have that up there and then we can have this here. So we could have that one, for example, feeding into four different ones here if we wanted to do that for some reason. Um, but yeah, now we can, this has 100,000 flux capacity. It's now full actually, which I could then uh, break this and I get the wire back, which is excellent. And I can take this now and I could put it down here as soon as this breaks, place it here. And as you can see, it still has the 100,000 flux, flux stored. So that is how that works. And I think with that, we're done for this episode. It should be noted that this thing could potentially make more power as well in like thunderstorms and when it rains, um, because then there will be more wind, etc. So that is the thing to note about the windmill. We can also make some water mills, which I would really love to have those 
Though I think those might be a little bit loud, but I, I don't know. But I want to fit them in here somewhere. Especially since we have water anyway, I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, with that, I think I'm gonna call this an episode here. And in the next one, I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break from industry stuff and maybe go hunting for a sea serpent because I really want one of these. I really want a tide trident. I have everything I need except for a dragon bone and a sea serpent scale, both of which I hopefully should be able to get relatively easy. And yeah, I just really want one of these. They look cool and I want them. Legendary weapon, very strong trident weapon, pierces through multiple enemies. It sounds cool and I want it. And I want a little bit of a break from this industry stuff. So it's not the only thing that we do. So yeah, I think that is a mission for next episode. Let me know if you have any tips or anything like that for sea serpents and stuff like that. And of course also with the mercy of engineering there behind me. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, enable those notifications, join my Discord server. If you want that to find my pack, check out my Patreon down below in the description. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one where we potentially will be killing a sea serpent and maybe getting a side trident. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, have a wonderful day and goodbye.